Hi guys, this is Giridhar here. So I have this uh, Mi power bank, the uh, 10400 mAh power bank. So a lot has been said about this uh, device. So let us now do a real test and see whether it is really worth it. So I have charged it fully, uh, it shows 4 bars of light, so it's fully charged. It took me around 10 hours to charge from 0 to 100 percentage using a 1 amp uh, charger. So now I'm going to charge my OnePlus One. Uh, the OnePlus One rating will, will be, uh, the battery rating is around 3100 uh, milliampere and uh, also I will be charging my Nexus which has got a battery back a power of 2300 milliampere and my Nexus 7 tablet which has got around 4300 milliampere battery. So first of all, let us charge uh, the uh, OnePlus One here and see how long it really takes and does it really charge all of these three devices. So all of these three devices put together will come to around uh, 9500 or something uh, some, somewhere around that and uh, this battery backup is called 10400 mAh and uh, um, technically speaking it must charge all these devices from 0 to 100 so in my OnePlus I have like 10 percentage of battery juice left out so I'm gonna plug it and it is starting to charge it you can see that it's charging now and come back to it and see when it is kind of fully charged. So now the OnePlus One has been charged. It took uh, two hours to charge from 10% to 100%. See how much percentage is left out here. So just click on this button and it will tell you it's got like uh, three more bars left, which means that it has taken 25% of the capacity to charge the OnePlus. And now let's and now let me connect uh, my Nexus tablet and Nexus tablet's capacity is uh, 4325 milliampere. Right. I have connected this and it is charging. So uh, now let's see how much, how long does it take to completely charge the Nexus tablet from 14% to 100%. Okay, now the Nexus 7 is also charged. So it is charged 100%. And you can see that though it is connected, it doesn't charge. So because uh, it is charging as completed, it doesn't charge the device anymore. So that's an intelligent feature there. So, um, Let's see how much power is left in this device now. There's barely uh, one bar blinking there. So let me find out if it can charge uh, my Nexus mobile as well. The Nexus mobile has some 36% uh, of battery left. So I just connected it to the remaining power from the Mi power bank. So let us see how much power it can charge the still so finally it has stopped charging and the me power bank has ran out of juice and it was able to charge my nexus 5 from 14 percentage to 69 percentage the 3100 milliampere one plus one was charged from 10% uh, to 100% and then we were able to charge the 4325 milliampere Nexus 7 tablet uh, from around 15% to 100% and then we finally uh, managed to charge a little bit of the Nexus 5 from 16% to 69% uh, so in total we were able to charge all these three devices and all these three devices put together would be around 9725 milliamperes and uh, approximately averaging it out to 80 percentage 
uh, this uh, it would be like 7700 uh, milliamperes and this device uh, promises 10400 milliamperes but it delivers around 7500 milliamperes that's like 25% less than what is actually promising and going by the standards of uh, the uh, portable chargers i think this is normal but it is priced at 999 it is really a good uh, value for money and uh, now this device is, is in market and now this me power bank is in market we have seen other uh, manufacturers also reduce their prices and uh, they have competitively priced their uh, portable chargers and they are all are available at around 1000 rupees yeah, for the same rating in the market uh, but I would still prefer the Mi Power Bank because it's got an intelligent circuit breaker and uh, it's, it's, it's neatly designed and only thing which I miss from this device is like uh, it doesn't have a cable to charge multiple devices at the same time. So if it had that feature, it would be a great device. So thank you for watching the video. This is Giridha signing off.